Why? Why is the big question. Why would a single woman choose to live freely in a tiny house full of studs on a base plate so small it wouldn't fit a run-of-the-mill modular building? Why? Well, stay tuned to find out. Welcome to my classic LEGO City layout. In today's episode we're going to start the work for the residential area, adding the first house for a woman in need. I guess most people need housing. In this particular case the home will be built from the flesh of LEGO minifix. I have set 63-65 summer cottage from 1981. Freaking love it! This single woman can't afford a proper house, so she had to buy this old summer cottage. In the winter it's too cold to live in it since it's open on the backside. I mean it's still a great solution to the housing crisis. Or maybe it is the housing crisis. Let's take a tour of this cottage. Built in 1981 it has that amazing retro feel to it. Almost hipster I would say. The red roof is both pitched and flat. Best of two worlds. The yellow wall matches the residents face which is all the rage in real estate right now. The windows have shutters to protect the inside from the breeze, since there is no glass in them. The shutters also make wonders for privacy for when you just want to walk around at home in the nude, crying. Before we move inside, check out that cozy outdoor seating area. You can sit there and enjoy your very important coffee mug, thinking about the wonders of the world. Like the pyramids, David Hasselhoff, and what the fuck this is. Sadly, this set does not have a helipad, which is a big minus. Flowers. They don't die because they're plastic. Some people find fake flowers tacky, but they sure are convenient if your lawn also is plastic. The spruce tree looks like my aunt's butt plug. Smells better though. Come on into the inside. This tiny space is packed with freedom. Free doom. Free of the materialistic clutter that we mistake for living. So who needs a living room? 50% of all the divorces in Nicaragua takes place in a living room due to the lack of court rooms. If you truly love yourself you can sleep on the studded plate. The lamp can be all the light you need. It will shine into your eyeballs, enlightening you. The kitchen is compact, well planned, efficient. No microwave since the CIA will use the radiation from it to track your DNA and sell it to Facebook. Tons of storage space underneath the counter and a fridge for keeping it cool. Just like you, you're a cool adult fan of Lego. Those stickers are original, over 40 years old, that's quality for you. The blue slope is a kitchen fan that lives inside your imagination. Lego can't make fans like this anymore and sometimes I wonder if we, as a species, can produce anything like it in this modern space age. Yeah, I am a fan of it. Maybe the real slopes are the friends we made along the way. The floor is grass, her feet touches mother nature, she's one with the cosmos, forever expanding, forever eating more cake. Let's pop it in this place. Quick access to the road, she needs a car so she can go places. Set 6633, family car from 1985, but she don't got no family, she's a solo female living large in a tiny house. Maybe the Lego community is her real family, the family she shows them, the family I've shows them. Don't, don't tell my wife and kid I said so. The color scheme for the car is great. It looks fresh, clean, modern, fast. Look at her driving to the petrol station. She could fill me up. She has found her illusion of happiness in a compartment so small she can't poop inside of it. That's why she lives like this, or pretends to live. She's plastic. She breaks easy. With that said, stay out of the nonsense and stay awesome. Please subscribe and watch out for the lady! <laughs>